earlier today um, I went to see The Sorcerer's Apprentice and um, it was a special screening held by the Tyneside Cinema and it was a special charity premiere in aid of the Cinema and Television Benevolent Fund. Um, the, there are, the, the Cinema and Television Benevolent Fund as it were um, they are the industry charity for those working within like cinema and television and they basically help you know provide like financial help and also practical support for anyone who works within um, the cinema and television industry um, I believe in the UK pr predominantly anyway so um, very very prestigious um, fund and um, so if you work in cinema and television you'll pretty much know exactly what, what they're all about um, if you want to know a bit more about them um, I'll put, put the link at the bottom so you can um, get a bit more sort of background information about them um, on to the film itself um, Sorcerer's Apprentice uh, this stars Nicolas Cage along with um, Jay Baruchel um, Nicolas Cage is, uh, is a well known sorcerer um, he's actually one of um, three apprentices of Merlin and um, along with um, another apprentice known as Horvath and his love interest as it were called Veronica the three of them um, were no, were like you know as I say they were Merlin's apprentices um, however Horvath sort of um, went rogue as it were um, and helped the Lady Morgana Le Fay as it were um, to try and defeat Merlin um, so it pretty much goes from there and turns out that Merlin basically tells um, Nicholas Cage's character known as Balthasar that there's go there's going to be like his successor is the only one that can defeat Morgana once and for all so um, here's Balthasar going on a century well thousand years long trek to search for this um, successor and it turns out to be this average nerd called Dave um, as I say played by Jay Baruchel and um, he just has you know as far as J uh, Dave's concerned you know he just wants to live a normal life he's, there's a girl that he's interested in and everything that he went to school with so it's all the usual you know apparently you're the one that's going to save the world even though you just look like an average person but you are going to be you know the saviour of the world of mankind and everything because if you don't this bad things are going to happen um, what I actually loved about this film um, two elements that, that struck out for me in this film was one I actually really enjoyed the effects in this film they were they were they were pretty well done um, so I've got to you know give thanks to the to the uh, effects visual effects team for, for, for doing that because it was awesome Jerry Bruckheimer who's the uh, producer for this film um, well you know I love Jerry Bruckheimer because his movies are just awesome um, you've obviously got like Pirates of the Caribbean movies as well in there um, I believe he also um, produced um, Armageddon um, even though that was actually directed by Michael Bay so but Michael Bay and Jerry Bruckheimer have always worked well together but this movie was directed by John Turtletub who did um, the first two the first well the two national treasure movies that Nicolas Cage starred in so again Jerry Bruckheimer and Nicolas Cage and John Turtletub those three together again they work pretty well um, so the collaboration between them three was just awesome in this movie um, but the other element was that there was they actually used if you've seen the 1940 Fantasia animated movie from Disney the, um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice within Fantasia that little segment yeah it's featured in the movie so it's not a spoiler because it is it does happen but trust me when you see it it is awesome seeing it live action you know you see it in the cartoon you see it live action totally different altogether but it really is quite funny um, there are a lot of comical elements in this film as well um, as I say it, it's a bit, a bit of emotion um, the fight, the like, the, the magical sort of fight scenes between Balthasar and Horvath as well is awesome. Um, for those of us who have probably seen um, Rock and Roller by Guy Ritchie, the actor from that movie, the um, the guy that stole the painting, basically, um, he's in this as well. He plays a guy called Drake Stone, and um, he has 
he's like a new generation of sorcerers um, so he is used by um, Horvath to help bring Morgana you know back to life um, speaking of how Morgana was actually trapped in the first place was by Veronica um, just as she was after she defeated, defeated Merlin Veronica used a spell to trap Morgana's soul into her body um, but to not allow Morgana to escape from her body again Balthazar had to then trap both Veronica and Morgana into um, what's known as a Grimhold basically um, so they were trapped in there and then he kept on collecting more and more sort of you know evil sorcerers into this Grimhold and it got bigger till eventually Horvath was the last one to be caught and then he's the first one to escape as it were or be summoned or brought back to life kind of thing however you want to put it but from that moment on yeah pretty much all, all is all go kind of thing um, but no as I say the film was enjoyable I loved it um, definitely worth taking your kids to because the cinema was packed with a lot of kids that's all I can say I was probably the only one there that didn't have any kids with me <laughs> I was the big kid but I don't care but um, no it was it was fully enjoyable and uh, there were a lot of laughs in there as well um, so yeah no by all means take take your kids to to, to see it and they will definitely love it um, but absolutely enjoyed it and um, recommend it so thank you for watching and see you later